Okay, it's July 12th, 2020. Welcome to Apocalyptic Gardening. It is about 100 degrees right now. At least that's supposed to be the high today. So I thought I would take you guys down into the underground greenhouse and show you what the temperature's like down here when it's 100 degrees outside. So if you look behind me, it's 100 degrees outside. It's 100 degrees inside. So that's actually the hottest I've seen it since we installed the shade cloth, which you can see here behind me. So the shade cloth is working. Um, last year, I think it got uh, about 115 degrees in here, maybe even a hair warmer than that. So it's knocking it down at least 15 degrees. So uh, you can see behind me here, the plants are all doing well. So I thought I'd give you an uh, update on how everything's growing. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and then if you watch to the end, I'm gonna show you something that is not good happening out in the garden. And this year with the COVID, the earthquakes, the fires, and whatever else is happening, it's not a surprise. So anyway, uh, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Right now I'm gonna flip the camera on for you. Okay, so here you can see the three pepper plants. One, two, three. They're all growing nicely. It looks like we'll have some peppers growing here shortly. And then on the giant tomato plant here, you can see some little tomatoes growing right in there, or some big tomatoes. So that's working here. We've got the, um, what is this plant here? Cantaloupe. And if you look here, you can see some little cantaloupes growing on there. This is our little pine tree that we got here. It looks like it's growing, so that's nice. And then if you look here, we've got some spaghetti squash and it looks like they are growing nicely. Another big one over here. And then let's see here. Okay, so it looks like we've got, I can't remember if this is zucchini, yeah, this is the zucchini plant. So it looks like I got some zucchinis growing there. A little concerned about these uh, leaves dying like that. Sometimes that is particular bugs we don't like killing them. And then if you look over here at the cherry tomatoes, you can see we've got some changing colors there. But if you look down in here, you can see we actually have some cherry tomatoes that are ready to go. So I'm gonna pick those today. And then uh, we do have a spaghetti squash back here. That one looks like it's ready, so I may pick that one as well. And then these cucumbers here, they, it looks like they never quite got there. So I don't think that's gonna give us anything this year, unfortunately. So uh, right here, I don't talk about them too much, but I've got the two lily koi plants growing. You can see they're doing just fine in here. And then we come to the crooked old lime tree here, and it looks like it's actually growing. I may have to trim this one back a little bit. And over here we have the lemon tree. And then right here we have the orange tree. And of course this orange tree, we have some tiny little oranges. Some of them don't be seeming to grow, seem to be growing too quickly here. So I'm a little nervous that we will not get oranges uh, this year, but we shall see. Now coming over to the grapefruit tree, you can see we've got a lot of good stuff happening here. This tree looks like it's gonna produce for us this year. So we've got some big, nice grapefruits growing in here. And then over here to the other orange tree, you can see we've got some little oranges growing on this tree as well. So we shall see if these little oranges produce this year. So uh, over here, I haven't talked much about this. This is the avocado tree. I have trimmed off the lower branches because I want it to grow taller and that tree is looking very healthy. Okay, and then one last thing you'll notice here, there's a big gap right here. 
That is because if you look at the uh, cauliflower bush right here, you can see the leaves are completely destroyed. There's like a caterpillar or probably a herd of caterpillars that are just destroying those. So I actually just got rid of two of them. They were in the way anyways, they were so big. But we have a big problem outside. And so I'm about to show you what's happening out there. Okay, so looking over here, you can see these plants are looking really healthy. Everything looks, seems to be going pretty good over here. You can see some nice zucchinis growing here. We've got some big ones growing in there, you can see. Uh, over here we have the lettuce. I need to pull most of that out of the ground and get it out of the way. If you look over here at the carrots, you can see they're growing well. Zucchini's doing great. More carrots doing well here. You can see the plants I planted late are starting to take off here. And everything seems to be doing well is over here. Also, you can even see We've got a little uh, cucumber growing right there. So, uh, but when I was watering this morning, I noticed we've got a ton of dead leaves over here. So anybody who's done a lot of gardening knows that that's gotta be squash bugs. I really, really hate squash bugs, hate. Anyway, when I sprayed the hose on these plants, several squash bugs kind of went running. And so I know that we have a problem here. Have I ever told you how much I hate squash bugs? Hate them, hate. Here we've got a nice pumpkin growing. I think we have another one over here somewhere. Yep, we got a nice one little growing right here. So we were really excited to get pumpkins this year, but to be honest, I don't really want to deal with it. If you watch any of my episodes from last year, you know that I fought the squash bugs for like a month. Fought them. Fought them hard. And guess what? I lost. I spent all that time and I don't have time to do it. You know, I have a normal job and I can't just be out here killing squash bugs. So anyways, I have a plan this year that I think is going to work. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'm going to do. And uh, by the way, have I ever mentioned to you guys that I hate squash bugs? Hate them. Okay, well, because I don't have time to deal with this year, I brought my clippers. I'm just gonna get rid of these bushes. That's all I can do about it. pull the weeds too you know you know it's kind of sad but sometimes it's easier just to go buy your pumpkins and your spaghetti squash because this is ridiculous okay before I pull the rest of this plant out of the ground I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like you can see they, they lay their eggs on these and and they just they hatch and you get a hundred of those little creatures. I'm surprised. It's kind of hot outside, so they're obviously all hiding for the day, but this is kind of what it's gonna look like when you have squash bugs. This is what a squash bug looks like. You got one right here, running for the hose. Can you see him here? Let me see if I can get him on my hand. I don't like people very much, but we'll try to on there okay see that that my friends is the enemy so you see those guys walking around in your garden then i'm sorry you've got problems another one right here they're actually everywhere so uh, hopefully they don't get into my other plants
They will. So now I'm gonna wheel this garbage can to the other side of the house, as far away from the garden as possible because I don't want those creatures getting into the greenhouse. Also, I just wanna show you the new addition. If you look behind me here, you see we had concrete poured around the garden boxes and that's because we can't spray poison around the garden beds and we just could not get ahead of the weeds. Like they just kept popping up. We tried all sorts of different uh, organic sprays to kill the weeds, but they came back just as fast. It wasn't killing them. So anyways, we poured cement here and I'll actually show you a view from above. Okay, that's it for this episode of Apocalyptic Gardening. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and we'll catch you next time.